Welcome to this further Onshape video. Today we're going to look at adding functionality to your Onshape, using a thread table, picking types of threads, and understanding the options within the thread creator. If you click on this link that I've put here, it will take you to this document. Now, with this document, uh, somebody very kindly has spent their time setting up a thread creator. To add that, cust uh, that feature, you click up here and then you're going to click on this here you need to be logged in for that to work once you're logged in you'll see that this thread creator has um, been added to your uh, on shape now all I've done here is add a rod which I'm going to thread and a bolt which I'm going to thread now to know the size of this rod and the size of that hole we use a table so in the UK we use metric and so common metric sizes are M3, M4, M6, M8 and M10 and then so on but you can use any of these if you're going to 3D print you want to really be using M4 and above so I'm going to create an M6 bolt and so what I've done is I've made a 6mm diameter rod and a bolt with a six millimeter hole through it to then use a thread creator i can click on this or i can just search for thread creator this will bring up this here and it will ask me the faces that i want to thread so i'm going to select this surface here and you'll see because it's got quite a lot of information it's going to work one thing i want to do is we're going to select ISO standard. Okay, ISO standard is the UK metric system or it is used across the world but we don't want to use any of the others for the time being. Uh, other things that you uh, might be useful you can do a probably won't want to do turns but you can do a distance so that we can thread this is a 50 millimeter high rod so we can thread only 25 millimeters of it. And then the last thing you'll notice on uh, if you buy a bolt uh, or any uh, rods or, buy or nuts from the shops, you often have a taper at the top. So if I click start taper, it will add a taper onto here. That makes it easier to get a bolt on. So you can't really see it, but it will add it and it will make it a little bit easier. So that's that. And for an internal thread, we do exactly the same thing. My shortcuts appear here, so I can click that, click the inside, select the type I want. One thing we didn't talk about very quickly is the pitch. So the pitch, if I have a look on my table here, you can see the different pitches that should be on a standard thread. So I'm doing M6, which means it should be a one millimeter pitch if you were doing an m4 it would be a 0.7 millimeter pitch if you're doing an m10 it would be a 1.5 i'll put the link to this on that page so one is correct tick and there we go if i 3d printed these or if i put them into an assembly this should now fit with that 